Hey friends. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey friends. Um, I am here with my friend Lillian Willis, and we are going to share with you uh, the update of an exciting healing story. So thanks for your attention. Okay, Lil. So here we are. I think that we're in the third week of September, but on June first, we started something, and I wonder if you could. Okay, before June first. Can you tell what was us? life like? Yeah. What was life like for you with your situation? It was very, very difficult. Um, my husband was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. I'm sorry. And um, he was <laughs> he was really hard to live with. And it was sad to watch him withering away and withdrawing from society. And with himself, within himself. So he had a couple of medications prescribed by the doctors that were supposed to help his brain to work and improve his synapse. And, and uh, nobody said anything about his moves, <laughs> which were only I had to deal with them because if he was in a group, he didn't act out, but he could be very aggressive and um, difficult and uh, judgmental. And just a real pain in the ass a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. So I called you because I needed help. And, uh, I read and researched and learned all I could about cannabis oil. And sure enough, you were ready to help. And here we are. He's ready to go out anytime. Loves socializing has a big time. He engages in conversation. He makes jokes. We go out to lunch. He enjoys the company and the food and just going. And um, we try not to be at home too much, but sometimes I get tired. <laughs> He's so ready to go all the time. And uh, it's just night and day. It's a totally different life now. Wow. Okay. Um, so this is amazing to hear, and I wonder, like, what would you say to you a year ago, or to someone like you a year ago? I would say, cast off demons. Don't believe everything you hear, and learn, learn all you can. Because you're being lied to. You're being lied to. Oh. And um, anything for the medical profession? <laughs> <laughs> Wake <laughs> up. Wake up. People are suffering and dying and families are being torn apart. It's not necessary. It is not. There's medicine. Real medicine. Okay, well, I read my last question. Okay, uh, does it strike you as odd that a formula made of two ingredients, and just so the audience knows, that those two ingredients, it's, it is cannabis and coconut oil. That's it. No, that's it. Nothing synthetic, just those two ingredients. And they produce the results that Lil just described. And he's you know, then off of all other synthetic prescribed uh, prescriptions. Right. And so is it not odd, you know, that here is this like <laughs> epidemic that is a, that is plaguing so many people across the world and initially because he was taking I think two or three prescriptions. He had two prescriptions and then of course everybody said uh, have him take turmeric and have him take uh, this seaweed formula and blah 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 blah. Uh, everybody had something they wanted to add to his regimen. He had a cocktail every morning that was like, uh, it, including supplements, mostly supplements. Um, it must have been 10 or 12 capsules. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so, it's, so, it's all, so you traded all that just for the... For a little bit of coconut oil with a little cannabis oil in there, he shoots it back and we're done. <laughs> That's the day. Then he takes another one at night to make sure he sleeps well. Because he used to roam around the house, and I was great. And he'd go in the kitchen and you know, turn on the stove or something and blow the place up. Yeah. 
but um, he sleeps through the night. It's just he takes his little shot and goes on about his business. That's amazing. And doesn't complain. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I am really, um, I'm so impressed by you, by, I mean, like, with your courage and your willingness to do the things that you said earlier, which was to, you revisited your position, mm -hmm. and you were, you opened yourself to try something, and, and um, I'm, I'm just so grateful for that, and that, and that you're now sharing um, this truth with right. others. Right. Well, I could see it was, others were suffering as well, but, uh. I hope you know it's not necessary. You don't have to live that way. There's an alternative. Thanks for your attention.